Welcome to another tutorial. We are here getting ready to put in everything to create a stop motion animation. So we have here um, all our photos from the stop motion. Uh, we've taken our pictures for all our screenshots. Uh, I've got just a quick little boring <laughs> set here. Lego character running across the rope falling and then getting back up and taking off. Alright, so first need to open up After Effects, which I've already done so. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and just right off the bat create a new composition. And for this, let's do a preset. We're going to do the uh, HDV 1080p. Give us a 1080p resolution, 29 frames per second. Uh, the duration, we're just going to do uh, 30, 30 seconds. All right. Just for a starting. <laughs> All right, so we got our comp set up and everything. Now we need our project file. So I'm just going to hit Control A in the folder here. It selects all my pictures. And I'll just drag them over, copies them automatically. Go ahead and drag them down to the comp window. Now we'll notice that the pictures are high resolution. So therefore, I will want to scale them down. Now if I click off on accident, if I go to scale one, it will just scale that one. So if I hit Control A, it selects all of them. Now I can scale it in this window just by doing this, but then I get this weird, you know, scaling going on where it's not uniform. So in these kind of cases, I may just want to hit S for scale, and then I will just scale one down, and it will automatically scale all of them at once. And so many high resolution photos, um, After Effects is going to take its sweet time here to scale everything. So we'll give it a second. Alright, at this point I would go ahead and save your project. As we go along you'll want to save continually in case uh, something happens or it crashes. Uh, your progress <laughs> is saved. So once you save it to your desktop you can just go up to File, Save, and select your desktop, name the file, whatever you'd like, uh, stop motion in this case. And then from now on out, we can just hit Control S and it will automatically save. All right, if I middle mouse click, I can drag this over so I can see my comp. And I've got everything centered here. Uh, now, in this case, um, I've already Control A selected all my layers here, and they're already shrunk down. In most cases though, when you drag your pictures, they're going to be like the full <laughs> comp length. So we can just click over here and drag them over to resize them. And be careful because if you move it over like this so, you may think you're resizing but you're just pushing it over. So you can see how you push it over. When you resize it, this area right here will always be blank. When you move it over, then you know that it's going over in the beginning time frame. So, uh, there is also a shortcut key. If we do Alt and then front bracket and then Alt right bracket, it will shrink everything down to one frame wherever your time slider is. So let's bring this back to zero. And I think for this I'm going to try making each picture three frames long. So we have one, two, three. We shrink it down, there's two, and then there's three. So we've got everything three frames long now. Now we just want to sequence them. Instead of moving them in order, we will right click, go to keyframe assistant, and sequence layers. Hit OK. Now in some cases, it may put them in a different order always make sure your time slider is at the beginning. If it does it in the opposite order, then what you would want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, select the bottom first, then shift select the top, right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, voila. And in this case, mine reversed it, 
so I'm just going to control Z to undo that and get back to where I was. Voila, there we go. I can see my character moving along. I can hit spacebar to render it so I can see uh, how far I've gotten with the project. So in a lot of cases, you may run out of time. For instance, let's say your composition was this short, and you're like, ah, oh, my pictures go off the screen. What do I do? For this, you would go up to composition, composition settings, and then change your duration. So right now it's seven seconds. We'll make this uh, 20 and hit OK. One particular frame. It's looking a little weird here. Just make sure everything's good to go. There we go. Zoom out of here. And voila, we've got all our pictures in order. So now we could also resize our area if we wanted or scale the pictures, or we could just leave these uh, black bars on there for now, it's fine. In most cases, you just wanna fill up your frame. You do always want to check and make sure your composition is lined up the way you'd like it. So now, what we may want to do is put in a title. I don't know, maybe Lego roping. Uh, in most cases, I'd probably do this in stop motion too instead of in After Effects, but we can just quickly do that. I'm going to hit Control A to select all, Control, click the Lego roping, and let's zoom in here. And we're going to say we're going to make our title like maybe four seconds to five seconds long. I keep getting the shrink arrow and I just want to get my regular arrow here so now I can click and drag all of the layers over at one time. And if we're not using these things right here, we can actually right click and say hide this, uh, being that we don't need those right now. And that'll give us more room here to work in the timeline. All right, so for the title, we'll go ahead and animate this. Should do this right here at the five second mark. I'm gonna have it scale in a little bit. Let's take that anchor point. We'll do the pan behind tool, or also in the newer version, it actually mentions here that it is the anchor point. And we'll just move that to the center. So now it will scale in from the center. And then we can turn on the opacity here. And we're going to have it fade out. Back to the beginning here. And so now that we're at the beginning, I will scale this up drastically. We're just going to keep going. Now, if I hit play, you can see it scale in. So I'm going to bring this keyframe here closer. Render it and play it. So it's still a little slow here. Bring this forward. There we go. 
only we had sound. Lego <laughs> roping. We'll add another text oh, layer here. Um, click right here. Let's see, and we will click down below and select a new text layer. It'll automatically create it. And we'll just put in our name here. Move this over. And the interesting part is we can actually select these scale keyframes, select our by JSON layer and control V to paste those. Probably have to have scale selected. Try that again. Bam, there we go. We need to change our anchor point here. We'll make it the center. And then now we have our layer centered here. All right, so we'll bring these keyframes closer together. And this is not the scale that we want. So we'll scale that back down. Control Z. I probably shouldn't do that. Right, so we've got our main keyframes. Move this over. I'm going to make this one a little bit quicker. So we'll test it out. I'm going to select both of these keyframes here by shift selecting and then I'm going to resize them make them more about the approximate size then I can relink them scale them back down voila so we have now this one's freaking out a little bit, so we'll delete that keyframe. This one here, we will just select it, hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste. It'll paste it where our time slider is, and we want to offset it a little bit, so we're going to scale it just a little bit smaller. Now we get this it fading back into time. We can do the same thing with the opacity. We just select the opacity keyframes, control C to copy, select opacity in our new text layer, and hit control V, and it pastes them right there, and then we have them fading out together. And we could, if we wanted, I guess, maybe offset it just slightly. So it's like one fades out before the other. And then our animation starts. Now if I had more people involved or credits, I would either put those in after the title, or I could go here to the very end and add them in. Um, it would also be more effective if I had uh, my credits as stop motion as well. So right here. I'm going to add in a new solid layer and just make it black. And it's going to put it at the top, so I'm going to have to move it all the way down here to the bottom. We'll drag to the bottom. And I'm just going to drag this one all the way over. And I'll give it a few more seconds. I'm thinking 